stick around and get ready to see how I came up with five of the most adorable crafts that fathers and daughters can create together. And I know you will love these ideas. And here's the best part. It was all inspired by this book. So yep, you know what to do. Stay tuned. What a wonderful world. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is the Activity Author and I am here to bring you a special book inspired craft video. And if you don't know me, hey, I'm Cheryl. I am an author. And I create easy kids crafts out of household items that are usually inspired by books by self-published authors. Because you know us independent authors, we don't always get enough shine. And I also create games and activities as well. So if you rock with my content and you like this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that like button because you already gonna like this video. And hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are notified every time that I post okay and if you want hit me up for any kind of crafts that you want me to create with your books because i have a lot on my channel and i'm working my way up to number 50 okay all right guys so i am excited to tell you guys about our book that inspired these crafts today why because today's book comes from a dad and this dad's daughter's book has been featured on my channel before do you guys remember this video that featured Haley's book, The Rules of a Little Boss? Yeah, you do? Okay, well, her dad wrote a book too, and his book is called Dear Daughter, A Love Story by Diedrich Moon. I don't know if you guys remember Diedrich, but his daughter Haley, she has a company called A Rules of a Big Boss LLC, and Haley was like the central motivating factor for him, like publishing his first book and establishing his company. Yeah, so I thought that this would be perfect to feature a daddy-daughter duo on Father's Day weekend, right? For obvious reasons, of course. But y'all, let me quickly tell you about this book so y'all know why I was inspired to make these crafts, okay? So Dear Daughter, A Love Story is an award-winning book and it reveals a bunch of short letters that Diedrich wrote to his daughter Haley. He wrote this book not only for his daughter but for all the daughters around the world because he wants y'all to know that you guys are loved whether you have a father in your life or not and he just wants to like show a real relationship between a father and daughter the highs the woes and everything in between right. So Dietrich and I actually have a lot in common because just like he had this book I wrote my book to also highlight and change the narrative around black fatherhood and highlighting relationships between black fathers and their children. And that is what we both want. So shout out to all of the black fathers out there still holding it down and loving on their babies. This one's for you. Okay guys, so I encourage you all to grab a copy of this book. After I read it, I felt a whirlwind of emotions in a good way. Um, Dijek really poured his heart out in this one. You can really tell, you can feel the raw emotions coming through the pages as you read the letters to his daughter and you get to see a relatable experience. Um, something that you guys can relate to as well as you go through on this book and it'll leave you on the edge of your seat just waiting to know what happens next. This is truly a great read and all of the links are in the description box waiting for you. So drop down in that description box right now. Check out everything about this author, this book, their social medias, everything. And please make sure you guys follow them. Follow them on all social media platforms so you can continue to see their journey and their relationship. And they are constantly writing new books, guys. So you definitely want to be in the loop. Stay in the loop. And last but not least, I just wanted to shout out this father-daughter duo because they have been so supportive of me and my brand and my crafts and my books, as you can see right here. Uh, <laughs> so guys, hop on over to their 
pages, show them some love, and I promise you will not be disappointed, okay? Okay. So now that we got all of that out of the way, I know you guys cannot wait to see all of the goodness that comes forth to you right now. So like I always say, let's get crafty all right quick disclaimer but not right i just want you guys to know that the activities you're gonna see in this video is just perfect for fathers and daughters to create together but y'all anybody can create these crafts mamas daughters grandparents grandbabies but since it's father's day weekend we just focus in on the fathers today okay but i encourage you guys to grab your father or father figure and create but art is always fun when you create together so grab somebody you love and create these crafts okay all right we're really starting now let's go all right, so the first craft we're gonna do is the easiest one, and all you need is construction paper, scissors, and glue. So all you gotta do is grab those scrap pieces. I always keep a bag of scrap pieces that I don't use. I cut them up really small into little chunks, little pieces. And as you can see, Dad's giving uh, Malia some glue, and she's gonna spread it around with her popsicle stick. I don't know how that pom-pom ball got in there, but we just gonna go with it. And just encourage your kids to stay inside of the heart. So you're filling your hearts with all of these little pieces and I guess they're symbolic to all the things that fill you with love I don't know I'm trying to be sentimental here guys work with me okay <laughs> love this one because you can always write your own message like we wrote our own messages there and kids any age can complete this craft with dad all right so let's go ahead and move on to my second favorite you're gonna grab those puzzle pieces the ones that you lost all the pieces to yeah you probably got 10 left so go ahead and grab those 10 pieces and go ahead and paint them with your child I like to put them on plates so that way it can keep the paint contained and that way they got their own little space everyone's enjoying this one Mama Bear is just gonna hop on here real quick to show you how to put everything together. So now that your puzzle pieces are dry, you can write a message on them. You're gonna take four popsicle sticks. I use six, as you can see the blue ones there. And I basically put them together in a square, like a frame. And then you're gonna take your puzzle pieces and decorate the frame just like this. Let it dry fully, then take a nice little cute picture you have around the house and you're going to put it in the frame, glue it, tape it, whatever you gotta do, and it is done. Y'all like this? Look how cute, that was so cute. All right, so for our next one, we're gonna switch gears a little bit and do a cool craft that fathers can create with their daughters where they are making a princess. So all you're gonna do is Put a handprint just like we're doing and you notice that we keep the palms touching you want to keep the palms touching because that's going to give the illusion of the tutu or the little gown skirt whatever you want to call this And there you have it, very easy. We do simplicity here on this channel, y'all. So now grab your construction paper for this next one. This is the brand I love. I got it from Amazon. And you're going to basically just cut out the top part of your, um, your princess. You can make a heart. You can make this little teardrop that I have. I think I'm going to go with this shape. So this is going to be the top part of the dress. You can add ribbons, bows, decorate the dress. I'm just showing y'all how I made the bow right here. Just like you're tying your shoelace, okay? You're going to glue that down on the dress. And you can have your child decorate the dress with like little sequins, little whatever you guys have around the house. I have these. I found these are really cute. I got them from like an artificial flower. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop those little glitter balls out and that's going to decorate the dress. And then last but not least, I'm going to finish this up with a optional idea, but you guys can do it as well. But I'm going to add a little silhouette of a girl, got her little puff there, and that is it. I mean, you guys can tailor this however you want, but I'm just giving y'all the idea and I can't wait to see what y'all come up with, okay? Make sure y'all take pictures. Make sure y'all tag me on Instagram. Here's my social media right there. And yeah, this one's super duper cute and super easy. So something that you guys can 
the kids can hang up in their rooms that's what we did with this we we ended up hanging up in our room and my daughter loved it so what's a princess without a crown? So we're gonna do a crown out of pipe cleaners and uh, Diedrich and Haley, y'all gonna love this cause I heard y'all love my crowns. So try to make one out of pipe cleaners. I'm gonna watch them struggle for a little bit and then I'm gonna show y'all how I help them create this cute little crown that Kimmy is wearing right here. All right, so go ahead and grab your bag of pipe cleaners. Um, I used about, probably about eight to 10, I think. Um, but I'm just starting out by twisting them around each other, just like a candy cane. Y'all see how I'm doing it? Just twirl it around each other to give yourself a base. Um, and then you're gonna tie it together to make a circle. That's your base of your crown. And then all you're gonna do is make a bunch of triangles with uh, pipe cleaners, just like I'm doing here. And, or you can do any other style you want. You can do like the, you know, like how they do half circles on the crowns, but just make it, the fun part of this craft is just making it the way that you guys make it together. So fathers, you make your crowns, daughters, you make your crowns. Y'all both wear them around the house and prounce around, do what y'all gotta do. But I just thought this was a cute craft that older kids maybe, you know, kids maybe eight, seven and up could uh, enjoy with fathers as well. This little demo crown turned it out really nice. I think I'm gonna give this to dad tomorrow for Father's Day um, and say it came from the kids. Aw, look at this beautiful moment. She's your queen to be. Comment below if y'all know where I got that from. I know y'all know where I got that from. I can't help myself. Anyway, we are gonna end this video with a princess wand because what's a princess without their wand? You know what I mean? And I had these die cuts cause y'all know I'm a teacher so I keep these around but y'all can just if y'all need a picture of a star, just go online and, and Google it, man. It, it, it's gonna be up there. So go ahead and have your child color, decorate, whatever you got to do. Get the star nice and pretty. We even add in a little sequence, a little jewels, bling bling. And then all you gotta do is put your star on a straw, a chopstick, and I'm gonna show you a really cool way to make a wand out of a paper towel roll. I just cut this bad boy in half. I'm going to keep twisting it until it gets as skinny as I can possibly get it. Nice and tight, just like that. When you get it where it can't go anymore, just put a little hot glue on there, hold it until it's dry, and you got a little makeshift wand that you didn't have to buy. And if you decide to do it on a straw, this is how it looks on a straw, and you can also use chopsticks. Remember, I know y'all have those leftover chopsticks out from Chinese night takeout, so use that as well. And I'm just gonna curl up the ribbon, make it look a little purdy, and we are pretty much done. This, that's it, that's how you make a princess wand. you go I just want you to know this is not the only Father's Day craft video here on this channel you can check out this video where I use my book to show you guys how to make a trophy for your dad among other things and you can also check out this video which features a father-son duo creating and fixing things all around the house and don't forget 4th of July is right around the corner guys so I have lots of videos to help you create lots of cool patriotic crafts for the summer and happy early Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. Y'all make sure y'all grab a good book and read with your daddy. Make sure it features a strong black man on the cover. <laughs> and don't you dare forget to check out the book that is featured today as well. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I know this was a long one, but it's filled with lots of good content. So I know you don't mind. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys uh subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you know every time i post because i don't have a designated time but i try to post every sunday yes <laughs> all right guys well have a good rest of your day and i cannot wait to see what you guys create bye